We are going to take another look at a net ionic equation here. Okay, so for this one, we're going to do a chemical reaction between uh, aluminum and silver nitrate. So here's aluminum. Aluminum is a metal, so it's solid. Silver nitrate is aqueous, so we are going to switch the metals. Liberating silver, and it is a solid because it is a metal, and aluminum nitrate. Okay, so we're going to proceed to our total net ionic equation, uh, step two here. Now, the things that are aqueous are going to break up, so we only have two aqueous in this question. And uh, things that are solid are going to remain solid. So first off, this aluminum is solid. Oh, forgot to balance it. Firstly, we've got aluminum, and it is solid, so we will keep it as solid. Plus, we've got silver nitrate. Let's break it up into silver and nitrate. And let's not forget that there are three. There's a three in front of the silver nitrate, which gives us three silvers. There's our nitrate, and now we have three nitrates. And on the other side, again, this silver is solid, so we're just going to rewrite it. And let's break up our aluminum nitrate. We've got aluminum that's plus three, and we have three nitrates. Now we're going to do our spectator ions. There is actually, in fact, only one ion in this equation that is exactly the same on both sides, and that would be those three nitrates. So let's cancel them out. You, uh, for things to be common on both sides, they have to be exactly the same. This aluminum here is a solid. Over here, it's an aqueous, so they're not the same. And same thing with the silver. So to rewrite our stuff that's not cancelled out, we put aluminum together with three silver ions in solution, and we make our silver precipitate out, and we have our aluminum, and our single spectator ion would be the nitrates. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.